強いさこの子を守るために私はもっと強くなるんだもらったっタワーはっそこだこの技を使わせるとはねこの私を出し抜こうなんざ100年早いんだよ Hey guys, uh, this is Sher talking and welcome back to my channel. This time we'll be giving a review on Hawkeye Bedalia. Yeah, I know this is video is coming too late because the banner is already over, but I didn't get a chance to test this character because no one was summoning for her and I didn't have a chance to get her by rerolling. I tried many times and it just didn't appear. But I got some uh, old account and it didn't work and I used it on stuff to test and I can do a good review now. Well, uh, First of all, her status are not that good because this character comes from uh, um, middle two and second generation character, but it's still uh, good defensive evolvers. You see that it has almost 1000 defense, and for a bow user, it's, this is very good. She's also um, a little above average for her generation on Fizzle and Mega Tech, but not that quite. And well, she's a, um, like I said, a fire uh, archer, and she gets uh, access to F activate because it's a second generation. Well, uh, now let's just look on her multiplicators so we can understand more of this character. Well, uh, just like most bow users, she just has uh, physical and mega attacks that she just switches over. The first two are physical and the third one is magical and the fifth one is magic as well. But uh, well, uh, you see that her most powerful attack is the magical one, the crimson blow. And you can only use it twice because of the order of attacks. If you get her to six attacks, she will perform four physical and two magical. And the first two are weaker than the third one. So you can just uh, maybe stop on 50 if you like this character. But well, uh, uh, she just used three attacks like most characters. The first one is seven hits, the second one is four hits, and the last and most powerful is only one hit. And it's kind of uh, not that hard to miss. And well, uh, she is like. Uh, try to be a brawler, she kind of seems like she's giving punches to the enemy, she uses bow but she's close combat, it's very funny. And well, she has, like I said, 14 hits on total, and she doesn't increase purification gauge more than the average, most characters have the same purification gauge generation. Well, uh, and also her purify attack is not that strong, it's 8.0, and she has a 10.5 multiplicator with the combination of her 3 attacks. So very average in all areas on this page. So now we have the passive pages, the passive pages is the most important page. And well, she has three colors that I don't like that much because the combination of it doesn't bring nothing that important. Well, she has an orb skill by using her unique orb. The unique orb is for the blue color. Well, blue is not one of the best ones, it's more defensive. And she gets 30 attack and mag by her orb skill and 20 far damage increase on the, the true uh, skills that she has. And she's on F activate character because she belongs to the second generation. And like the characters from second generation, the first skill grants her a 40% increase on both attack and mag. Well, she needs to increase both levels because she uses different type of attacks all the time. Well, uh, this is average. Then we have Night Blaze. Night Blaze great increases damage dealt by fire, uh, fire attacks and also her critical hit rate. This is the first place that she kinda dis has something to tell more about her hit. Then getting more critical chances, 20% is, not, is a good value for me, it, even because it starts the battle with 20. Uh, Sina is a character that can reach 20% increase as well, but she takes uh, like 4 turns to reach it. So from turn around, she will have a 20 more percent increase on critical hit chances, and she's good to be used with characters like um, with party skills called like easy going maxed. Easy going maxed, it will reach a 15 percent increase and 20 percent increase from here, and 5 percent from base. She can get to 40 percent just by here, and also coming more from potential force. I don't know if it's three or five percent. So she will be dealing uh, on max potential almost one. Uh, every two hits, one will be a critical hit, if she is maxed, fully maxed. This is not bad, uh, I think this is, uh, uh, it helps her damage because all of her other passives are not so strong. And besides this one, we have also weak pointer, it's from the blue color, and it deal increased damage when all allies in your squad land a critical hit. Well, I would prefer something like just an attack increase because attack affects everyone more 
than just doing uh, more damage when critical hit lands. But it's just uh, something that is related to the, the Night Blaze skill, so she's very related to critical hits. And then we have Pinpoint Snipe, her limited skill. It will increase 25 damage for everything you do, it being normal attacks on action skill damage, purification attack, but for only one turn and the cooldown is 4. The increase is not that high, I don't think it's high, and the, the duration is very poor, so you have to unleash all your action skill, purification gauge, and good attacks on the same turn that you activate this stuff. Well, she is a character that only gives weapon assist, like most characters, and her party skill is TF Dance. TF Dance means Dark Fire Dance, and the our priority is that all orbs are important and you need to invest in all of it. Okay, so the maximum damage potential equals to 110, and she gets more 25 from her limited skill. And her holds, in my opinion, is to just do fire damage, increase part critical damage as a buffer, and she also has high critical chance for her own. So well, that's it. This character is um, not that important. I don't think she gets uh, many uses. Even now that she's not available anymore, in the future she will be. But um, she only works with critical hit damage squads and also needs very much preparation to perform well. She also needs a fireball because uh, only four, uh, four of her normal attacks don't have the fire element. Well, that's it, guys. I hope this helps you in the future, or you just uh, to take you out of curiosity if this character was good or not. Well, I don't think she is. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see each other on the next video. Bye.